Hey guys, welcome back. I just got back from the movies with my beautiful wife and we got to see Gemini Man. This is my review of it. So, point number one, two wills are better than one. At the beginning of this movie, you see Will Smith and he is on his final mission. He just doesn't want to do this anymore and his final assassination is a known terrorist. At least what he believes to be a known terrorist. It actually wasn't. He finds out what the person, who the person really was and uh, that's what starts this whole thing. He has to start running. He meets some old friends and new friends where they can just team up and help each other out. But really, he just wants to retire. It's like in Lethal Weapon, you know, he's getting too old for this crap. He just wants to retire and try and live a normal life and they just keep dragging him back in. It's really sad to see, you know. But anyways, point number two, Will Smith looks so young, like me. The CGI in this movie is remarkable. It's very cool to see what they did, how it actually looks like a young version of Will Smith in this movie. And when they're fighting each other, uh, it's mostly CGI at that point because you can't really fight with someone. That'd be like Fight Club and it would be really, really weird. Um, but in this movie, they do. And uh, it looks very good. Now, at times, it does look a bit uh, fake. At times, like when they really zoom in on his face and he's and it's moving, it kind of looks fake at times. But for where, what it is right now, it looks just fantastic. Um, and I seen behind the scenes how they were doing it. He has to wear this weird cap with a little camera and dots all over his face. But it actually does look a, like a young Will Smith, and I'm and I'm very interested to see where this kind of technology goes in for future movies and such. But it actually did look really good in this movie. So start to finish really good really good point number three is if you like action you got action in this movie um i love action movies i don't go see too many of them because usually they don't have good stories but this one actually had a decent story to go along with um with the action that was in it and it was it was really good you guys will enjoy the motorcycle scene and then when they really have their deep connection when they like finally come face to face that whole scene lasts a little while and it's really good um, they, 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 just, they just get in a really nice, good fight. And I do like that. I like good choreographer fight streams, fight scenes. Once again, guys, talking is very hard for me. Um, that's why also why I love The Matrix, too, which is one of my most favorite movies of all time. Um, it had a great story, and the technology that they used for those the fight scenes were fantastic, and the action, the karate moves, it was just great. So this movie... Will Smith is great in it from, from you know, start to start to end. I love Will Smith. I don't get to see him in movies as much anymore because there haven't been as many good ones that he's put out. But this one is a really good one. The CGI is remarkable. You guys should just go see it just for that to see how it actually looks like a young Will Smith. It's, it's crazy. And then the third thing was action from start to finish. Very good. Um, good for all family members. I mean, there's, there's, there's fighting. Um, there's really no cursing. And there's some blood, but only from fighting and stuff. It's not gory at all. Um, so it is pretty good for the family. Just got to be careful with, like, maybe a 13 and under. Um, but I do give this movie four out of five wings. I would definitely recommend going to see it. It's just an action movie with a pretty good plot. Um, but it is really good. Um, don't forget, guys, my top ten list is coming soon. Um, it's going to have some special guests in it, which should be fun. And uh, next week's going to be another big one. I believe I'm going to go be seeing Maleficent. And uh, I loved or Maleficent 2. Maleficent, the first one was really good. And I'm really looking forward to the second one. Plus, it's a Halloween theme. So, ooh, spooky. So, don't forget, guys, to like, subscribe, share this. Um, if you do enjoy it, which I hope you all do. And I will be back next week for Maleficent. And then my top 10 list should be coming out sometime this month. And it will have a lot of fun little surprises in it. But uh, as always, guys, I appreciate it, and I will see you all next Friday. See you guys.